Right, we're using acrylic, interactive acrylics. I'm um, using a very limited palette. The main colours I use, cobalt blue, cobalt blue hue, and titanium white, yellow ochre, and a light red ochre. And that will give me um, all the colours that I need to produce this painting today, which is um, autumn time, it's October. Um, we can see lots of yellows, um, musty yellows in the trees. Um, I'm going to use a thick, slow medium. As it's very wet out here today, I'm trying to not to use so much water. So, put on this thick, slow medium. And then I'm going to brush my colours into the medium. Okay, it's very thick. The scene we're painting is based on a painting of Turner's. Um, uh, 1828 painting looking up to Winchelsea Hill um, and what we were doing is taking a slightly different view of, of the, uh, the scene we're a little bit more east I think than, uh, a little bit more west by the looks of it than the um, Turner scene anyway I've got my medium on there and just using this very makeshift palette an old credit card and you can see the paint going on using it quite thick with titanium white and some yellow ochre so just to get my top part here done which is the sky okay so yellow ochre and the white and I'm just trying to blend these colors in all the way down the paper really don't want to use too much water with it today, in fact I'm not really using any water at all here, um, mainly because of the rain dripping onto the, onto the painting. I've uh, got a little bit of blue here, not bothering to wash my brush out but just to put the, the colours in. working very quickly just to get these colours in into the paper, blending them in just to get the mood of the scene a bit of thick slow medium going in here again just to keep these colours wet Okay, we're going to have some rain clouds up here, so let's quick work, work this colour in here. Uh, bring it down. Now, I think my scene of my trees, let's just quickly paint them in here. Not being too precious about this. This really is just to mark out where I'm going to put things and we have let me just work these down a bit a bit further this will be where my trees are going to go just pick up a bit of water there okay And my gatehouse will go about here, I think. So just mark that in very roughly. Where we have our gatehouse. And this goes down a gradient. And then we have our trees. Let's just mark our trees in here. That's going to exaggerate some of the, the yellows of the trees just on the turn at the moment. So we have our outline of our trees and we have a large tree facing us over here so let's just mark that in with a bit of blue 
and the yellow ochre. Again, it's, it's here. And we're alongside the military canal here, so our painting is going across the canal uh, onto the other bank. So I'm just going to put in some, some lines there. That tree. Really, just working very quickly just to get get that overview of the scene. Okay. Now I'm just going to brush in some light red ochre here, and I'm going to mix that in some of the blue. get some nice purpley skies going on. A little bit of white, just tone it down a little bit. Light red ochre is very strong. So I'm just going to calm that down a little bit with some of the blue. We're going to add a little bit of yellow ochre here. Let's go back to some white. I tend to let the paint tend to merge into each other because they're all going to, I'm mixing them on the paper but on the little palette as you can see don't really worry too much about keeping them separate. It's the whole idea of the painting, it's all about blending the colours in and what I'm trying to get now up here on the on the hill of the strain gate is to get some some light in. I'm not going to chase the light but I'm just going to put some, put some light, light clouds in up here This thick slow medium, this is ordinary acrylic, this would be dry now and I'd be trying to paint over it but it's this new acrylic which you can just blend in as need be. Okay, just going to make a little bit bluer up here, a little bit subtle. Okay, just move that in to those clouds, just give the impression of rain up on the hill there perhaps even brushing some of it down. So. Very atmospheric sky here. Okay. Perhaps coming a little bit above the, the gatehouse up here. Australian gate. And in Turner's painting of the same, he had he had the clouds above above the gatehouse, above Winchelsea, the town up here, and that he used the clouds, storm clouds, to replicate the coming Napoleonic War. Or well, again, perhaps it was just a, a rainy day, like it is today. Okay, hi. I've now got my sky, which I'm quite happy about, and I'm going to start to put in some detail of the trees. Okay. Right, I'm tapping out some more yellow ochre from one of my big pots, and some watered down cobalt blue. And I'm very quickly going to put in the line here of the Camarche Canal Bank. I'm just going to just put in that colour. Just wet it a little bit. A bit more of the 
thick, slow, medium. Pick up a little bit of the water from the rain in my palette. That's my marsh bank just set in. Now, I don't use greens, I mix up my own greens, and that is a mixture of cobalt, not cobalt, carbon black and a, a nice yellow. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in. The colour will be darker here because it's closer to us. And so this is my, just outlining my marsh bank here. And there's my tree. Cool that down a little bit. Some yellow ochre over here. And a little bit of white. Just keep mixing those colours in. Just going to put in some little dabbles of yellow ochre just to suggest some of these leaves that are falling down there off the trees. Really, we're making an impression. This is very impressionistic. We're working against time, working against the weather. It's raining quite hard. So really just trying to get this image down. Pick up a little bit of white just to suggest these, these leaves down here. We can put more detail in when we're back in the studio and we have all the information that we need. Okay, so let's mix in some slightly lighter colour over here. Mix in the yellow with that green, the yellow ochre, and a bit of that green. Perhaps it's a little bit too dark, we can calm that down a little bit. Okay, so that's our hill up here in the background. Back to our last kind of greens of the summer before everything turns a musty, musty colour. Just getting some of those tree shapes up here. The thing about plain air painting, it's really good to get out and paint in all weathers, not just in, in the sunshine, otherwise your, your painting tend to be very, very bland, just summery days, and that isn't really how, how things are in this country. So I'll put in a bit of cobalt up here, these are these trees going up into the sky. Just mix your colours on the paper, don't worry about mixing them on the on this paper, on the palette, just mix them on the paper, canvas, whatever you're using. This is a acrylic canvas board which just peels off, which is the same effect as a canvas. Okay, cool. Right, the rain's getting quite heavy now, so we're just going to finish off. What I'm just going to do is put in the shape of this tree, I'm just dab in these, these colours. A few minutes ago I was needing some water, now I've got far too much. It's coming in onto the, onto the canvas board. So I'm just going to put in these shapes of the trees, and then we'll be finishing the rest of the painting off within the studio. Just going to have a look at that hill up here. You can see that castle gate, put that in. And I think that's about as much as we can do here today on the painting. Okay, we're back in the studio now. And I've already blocked some of the colours in. Um, I've just put the tree, I've blocked the colour in the tree and I'm just working on the background and blending these colours that we put on in location just blending them in and strengthening them and then I'm going to put some some tree trunks and redefine the background a little bit I had a little bit of water damage so I've had to just 
put in some blocking some of the colour on the tree area here. So let's put in some of this here. It's working very very quickly using the blue and the yellow ochre. Just really to get some of these autumn colours here. straight from this, this tree colour. And use a little bit of yellow ochre, and some of the white. Bring the colour forward, bring this tree forward a little bit more than it is at the moment. So, using these yellows and the yellow ochres, and so mixing these together to bring this tree into an autumn colour. And so it just fades into the mist here. colours and the yellow of course. It's just putting some of that cobalt at the bottom here and mixing it into this tree. And some of those Fiery autumn colours. Okay, a little bit over here. Soften that down over here. Ochre, just to soften that light red ochre down. Okay. Need some stronger colour up here for the tree trunks. This is an, an ultramarine blue and some of the light red ochre so I could mark in some of the, the, tr the branches through the foliage here okay. so broken lines because they would just be showing through just showing through the foliage right so And we can lighten these up a little bit as we go on. They are too dark. I don't like to get the tree, the tree trunk too brown because trees are made up of many colours. And if you make them too brown, they don't look very realistic. Just creeping through the foliage here. As I say, the beauty of this this paint is you can come back to it, rework it, rewet it, and you're able to rework the painting.
get some lights down the bottom. Just calm some of those those branches down a little bit. Ultramarine just to really give a bit of texture, a bit of shade down there. Let's come. The tree is just le losing its branches now, so maybe just showing through. And probably another week, and most of these, most of this tree will be just the skeleton. Okay. Let's rewet the paint here. Just a few little branches at the bottom. Just anchor the tree down to the bottom here. Return to the painting at the top here and I'm just going to very faint paint just put a few of these little branches in some of that down a little bit. Okay, just down the colour and we're just blurring some of those trees which have got a bit dark. Okay. So we were just working in the texture here and the branches will be perhaps a little bit more faded than this this tree in the foreground. I'll just scrub it in. Okay, so we've got an effect of some mist here, and let's just take this tree, fade it into the sky a little bit at the top. And this is just around the castle. Okay, the painting was. We had some water damage from the outside location so we've had to rework some of this tree area here which have been damaged by water but as you see we've managed to build the colours back and we've ended up with something in between a kind of a, a ternary type impressionistic um, painting of, the, of this particular scene. 